<laughs> Hello! Um, if you've never seen me around YouTube before, which is probably very likely, then let me introduce myself. I am Hannah and I read and then I talk about the books that I've read. Pretty simple really. Um, if you want to subscribe to me then you can do so here. Um, <laughs> you can if you want or you don't have to. It's totally up to you to be honest. I just make these videos because I like them. So today I'm going to be reviewing a book that to be fair, I should have probably reviewed about a month ago because that's when it came out, but I'm very, very excited to talk about this book anyway. It is The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire by Dan Howell and Phil Lester. Now, if you've never heard of Dan and Phil before, then I am so sorry for you because you literally have not lived. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if for some reason you've never heard of them or just never thought to check out their videos before then please do, you won't regret it. I will put their links in the description, there is no excuse, go and watch them now and you will instantly love them. So as well as reviewing the book today I'm also going to be just telling you a little bit about The Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire which was the complimentary tour to this book and I actually went to it. I actually managed to meet Dan and Phil on the 5th of November 2015 at their Liverpool show and so I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about that and my experiences meeting them and just the show in general. So the actual cover of the book, it's, it's hardback by the way, such a nice sound, such a good weight as well, like you could hit your enemy on the head with this. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend hitting people with it. I don't condone violence. As I was saying, the cover is super duper glossy. Look at that, look at the shine on that. Look, look. And yeah, it's the same on the back. But as you go into the book, all these pages, I wish I could show you, but they are just the most beautiful feeling matte finish and it just oh everything about it it's just it's kind of like I would I would call it a luxurious book also it smells really good too <laughs> I think my favorite thing about the book in general though is that you could tell that an immense amount of work has been put into it and the feeling that you get from reading it is that it feels so, so personal to both Dan and Phil and to us as viewers. I think what made this book so special for me as well is that it felt so nostalgic flipping through it and seeing their journeys from, you know, the very first day that they were even born to where they are now. And I started watching Dan and Phil back in 2011. Yes, it's an awfully long time I've been watching them for. I have been quite dedicated through the years, I'll be honest. And, you know, it was, it was quite emotional for me, you know, I have loved these guys for almost five years, of course I'm going to, you know, want to shed a little tear or two whilst I flick. Some of the other things that I found really fun, I'm not going to spoil them for you, I'll just, I'll, I, I will say this one thing and those people who have read the book will understand what I'm talking about. We are all the blue chair. How are we all the blue chair? Also, I would just like to point out that I use this page, spoilers, the existential crisis hallway in my university philosophy essay, which means that technically Dan Howell is referenced somewhere in the philosophy archives as a philosopher. I hope you're happy, Dan. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about the book without completely spoiling it for you. I almost did a couple of times. Um, 
basically, if you haven't already got it and you've watched Dan and Phil for a while, then 100% recommend. If you've never seen Dan and Phil before, maybe this is a good place to start. You know, read up about them first, see whether you like the look of them, and then check out their videos. Or you could just do the easy and free thing, watch their videos first, and then love them, and then go and buy the book. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to talk to you about my experience at The Amazing Tour is Not On Fire! Alright, I'm just going to get really really cheesy here for a moment and say that the day that I met Dan and Phil on their tour was the best. Now, don't expect me to be like the freaking out fan when I saw them. I kept composed like I did when I met Louise Pentland, aka Sprinkle of Glitter, but in all fairness, I had waited five years for a Phil hug, and I actually told him that when I hugged him. I said, I've waited five years for this hug, and he laughed a bit awkwardly. <laughs> of course I wanted a Dan hug as well, but the Phil hug was on my bucket list for a long time. So the show that I went to was on the 5th of November 2015 and it was in Liverpool. I don't think there was a matinee show but I went to the evening show, let's just call it the evening show. Um, me and one of my best friends, uh, because we went together, we spent the day basically like getting our stuff together and getting ready at my house and we made cakes for Dan and Phil. I will insert a picture of them right now. I, I'll give you a little quick summary of what happened when I met Dan and Phil. Basically, we walked in through the little like sideways thing because they had like um, a sort of like board up between like the, the queue and then they were on the other side of it. So we went round, you know, we gave them, showed them the presents that we'd got them. Um, I went first for like the hugs and stuff and Dan and Phil were really, really nice and they, they're just so warm and squishy and they're, they're basically the nicest people in the world. I will write up um, a blog post at some point with everything that actually happened in detail, so just keep an eye out on my blog for that. About the show itself, I'm obviously not going to tell you anything um, because, you know, that would be spoilers and it's definitely not fair on anyone who hasn't seen it and who might get the opportunity to see it in the future because they want to take it worldwide. So, um, what I will say though is that the show is unforgettable, truly. I have been to a lot of concerts <laughs> in the past couple of years. I have seen Paramore, Fall Out Boy, All Time Low, You Me at Six, Nina Nesbitt, Imagine Dragons, like, you name it. But The Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire just completely blows all of them out of the water in terms of performance style and it was it it was really it was it was just great to see them perform like in front of my actual eyes and not in front of a screen and especially for a whole hour and a half as well and um, you know the the effects and for, for people who have seen it they will understand when I say the very last bit was just made me the happiest person in the entire world that's it guys I hoped you enjoyed this video if you liked it then you know what you can do give it a like <laughs> push that button if you want to subscribe to me please do I I welcome new subscribers and I just want to thank you so much if you actually did enjoy this video and leave a comment down below of what you thought of tabbing off and if you've never really watched Dan and Phil before, maybe you've heard of them but you've never really bothered watching their videos, you know, have, are you going to read this? Do you think it's something that you'll pick up now that you've watched this video? I'm going to go now, um, so yes, I will see you pretty soon with a new video. I am so excited to be making more videos now and plus I like the new lighting in my uni room I suppose so bye!